Hey guys, it's Demandred1957. Welcome to Breath Edge, Episode 1. It's a funny, quirky little deep space survival game. And I've been enjoying the hell out of it here the past couple, three days. So I thought I would start a new game and bring you guys along for the ride. Any game that has a sense of humor definitely checks all the boxes for me, to say the very least. Fancy opening credits at the beginning of the game. From the creators of The Matrix, there's been no news lately. 22 awards. Some other games received. <laughs> you see what I mean, it's quite humorous. The Red Ruins Softworks team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases. Therefore, we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw for something more useful. A equals yay, censorship. B, nah, let him smoke. We'll let him smoke. Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. Ow. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Yeah, how you like that, buddy? Ow! You tell us all from the beginning, or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Eat it. Ow! You tell us all from the beginning, or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Nyet. Ow. Mmm, I like it. You tell us all from the beginning, or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Duh, duh. Interstellar liner unnamed. Your yogurt or some other garbage ads could be here. <sighs> ah, my poor grandfather. This ain't good. Grandpa, no! Well, this could be a real problem. Chapter One, Lost in Space. You lied to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth. No lie. Confirm. Da da. Ow. Apparently I got knocked out instantly. Ugh. My head. 
And my chick. I'm your funerary spacesuit's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Splendid. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. Oh boy, we got problems. Oh, we can take some when chewing gum. When picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. Movement is a little bit twitchy because you, you're floating in space, obviously. But you can stabilize. To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. <laughs> I wonder what holes he's referring to. Hmm. Okay. Take out the chewing gum from your pocket. Try not to get your funerary spacesuit sticky while holding the chewing gum in your hand. Stick it somewhere except for your face. I just like seeing this little bit here. To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. <laughs> You deserve some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. Once you're inside of your little shuttle compartment here, you do have a little bit of artificial gravity so that you're not actually floating around all the time. When you discover a new blueprint of an item, it is automatically added to the memory of a processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources, probably. September 2073. A typical calendar with girls. Miss September! Grandpa loved and carefully collected such things. I remember in my childhood, Miss December from Grandpa's collection got a fashionably painted mustache, and my ass got some wide stripes from Grandpa's belt after this incident. The waste disposal system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. That's right, just pee all over it. There's all kinds of little things that you can look at and take and do whatever you want with. You can place a spacesuit there. Expensive, unfiltered, dark, tasteless, and non-alcoholic. Something chosen by Grandpa solely because of his label, although he always denied it and wrinkled his face while choking on this crap. <laughs> Dog beer. Excellent. Just the antenna, you'll have to go into outer space. Oh no. Now you get new uh, objective markers that show up all the time for you. And you have your inventory here. You can change the colors of your various markers and all that good stuff. Oh, 
All right, before we go do that, you have a container spot over here where you can dump your uh, new gotten gains into. But you can also throw things on the ground inside your compartment here, and apparently they don't despawn. At least they haven't so far in my limited gameplay. This is a, like a workbench area here where you can make your various articles. on the screen if you want. actually do show you a few good things here. actually have toured Russia in the past and from my experience that little bit at the end is probably not too far off. Russian subway station bathrooms, yeesh. Now over here you have a choice of music and you can also switch it off. They have a few cool jams. I prefer this one. All right, let's uh, work on getting this first objective done. A source of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful, the radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. That was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. Uh-oh. Now you do have limited uh, amount of air when you first start out. So you have to really watch what you're doing there for a little bit. Grandpa loved to give young girls a ride on his rocket, so this is why his colleagues gave him this mug and the title of Chief Womanizer. Unfairly, because Grandpa only gave them rides and only on his rocket, but he still kept the mug and always laughed at it. Yeah, we'll definitely have to take that with us. Now, like I said, you have full 360 degree freedom of movement. And there's your warning that you're about to run out of air. 
not that big a deal, but all you have to do is come back in and it'll rebuild for you. Alright, let's look at our next objective here. Steering wheel. We gotta find the steering wheel. It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Great news! Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the Interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the Interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. Hmm, gee, thanks. Now you find things floating all around you at first. Your first objective should be to gather up at least three pieces of metal. Because there will be things floating here like this radio. You need a handy scrapper. A handy scrapper is basically just an overglorified club. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. A model from the advertisement of the Global Funeral Agency. She looks good even without her head, but I wouldn't recommend touching the picture, as it could be regarded as sexual harassment. Nice. Okay, we have the three pieces of metal we need to make a handy scrapper. Oh, except apparently I can't make it yet without an um, appropriate schematic, I assume. does throw a little bit much at at you right off the bat but it's not too horrible doing a little bit of resource gathering here right at the start of wire.
Judging by the primary analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. Radio does uh, cycle through all its songs too, so after a little bit, you might want to just turn it off. All right, there we go. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. It is rather easy for me to uh, hit the wrong thing and... drop things rather than use them, but yeah, it is what it is. Attention to all survivors. The rescue shuttle Hope has been sent for you from the nearest the rescue arrival time exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You nice. need to get to the extraction point yourself getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. Hmm, nice. Ah, oh, now we can make the handy scrapper. Okay. They have a very low durability, so you will probably want to make more than one. Crap imposed by the developers. Refined metal times two, wire, and thick electrical tape. Nice. It wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted, despite the objections of the hormonal system. You have a hot Russian girl constantly texting you throughout the game. All right, now then, let's uh, look at this bad boy. Yeah, there you go. At the start, there's a lot of basic just gathering stuff up and a little bit of exploring. Now to break things, all you have to do is Come up close to it and start beating on it. Your interlocutor has a very sweet accent, causing fatal errors in my grammatical functions. Oh, gonna run out of air. Danger. Sonic the Hedgehog vibes. <laughs> <laughs> 